In this lesson, we will discuss about rendering process in 3D Max. For that, if you press F10 on your keyboard, the dialog box will appear or you can see uh, there is an icon, render setup. I'll click here. So now you can see render setup default scanline renderer. This is what uh, the default uh, renderer is there. When we install 3D Max by default, this is the by default renderer we get. There are many renderers we get like uh, mental ray, eye ray, but right now we will discuss about uh, the scanline renderer. So uh, first you will see the common parameters uh, and there is a time output. So basically if you want a one single image of what we did right now, so we have to keep in on single. I'll just uh, make the render while keeping single I'll hit you render or you can press F9 on your keyboard that's the shortcut of render make sure the yellow slide see if you see there is a slight yellow box is uh, there that's called highlight box so if you do right click like this see the yellow box appears that means that viewport is activated if you do not do this view will render I'll say right click and here and I'll say render So this is what we got and uh, we have not discussed about the size we will uh, discuss this later on but right now when I hit the render button uh, if you see I only got one single image fine I'll just close it second option is active time segment that means if you want whole animation to save like uh, if View uh, if uh, this teapot is moving or any object is moving you can get those uh, animation you can save as an animation you can save if you see render output you can save files and you can save it as avi so this is how we save the avi you can save like this i'll just cancel it right now third option is range if you click on range that means if you want to render only 0 to 50 so I can type 0 to 50 then only this 0 to 50 will render 0 to 50 frames will render onwards 51 to 100 will not render this is what the range work so if you see frames that means if I want only 1 3 5 or 12 something like that it can be done like this for example i want only one so i'll say comma and i'll say five so if i do the render it will give one and five two frames right so this is what the frames work and area to render we can select which and what to get the render if you see uh, there's a view I'll say view and I'll say render. Now I'll say just only single. Now I'll say render. So now if you see area to render here also there and area to render. What is mean by that? If you see selected, if object is selected only that will get rendered. So this is one selected. This is one selected only this will get rendered. This is not updated file. So if I move this, say let it be like I'll just move pan like this. Now I'll say render. So this is what we got. Just again I'll slide it like this. And from here you can also adjust it. Select it. I'll say region. The regions means see if you see the viewport, we have got some uh, box that is we can select from which part to which part i have to render this is this happens many times if you have lot of uh, textures lot of objects and i want to concentrate on only particular material and particular object so i can do the render region so i'll say region i'll say render so now only this is get updated only this is concentrated the region so the crop and blown up so i said blown up only this much i have to blown up so i'll just say this much will be blown up will be whole size will get to see see 
this is what the blown up you can uh, see as a you know minute details you can see it uh, as right now i'll keep it on view so this is what about the uh, render area to render so now the size is i'll, I'll keep it on uh, right now it's on 640 by 480 if you see there is lot of sizes right here when when you are working on very heavy scene i'll i'll prefer with very small render size and if you want a proper hd quality output we have hd hd tv video and we have lot of options like half hd full hd so if you make 1280 by 720 and if i say render then this will be the whole uh, hd render now i'll just click on perspective click on perspective and i'll say show safe frame i click on show safe frame if you click on perspective there is lot of options or to top bottom to change the viewport and i'll say show safe frame if you see there is a box and now the viewport has been tight with this box and the box is called you know uh, this is uh, what it will get rendered if your image is something like this this is what you will get the render because this box is directly related to this size if i'll increase the height or decrease the height you will get directly uh, changes to the viewport i'll say uh, say 500 see you have already I'll, i'll just click on this size cock custom and see this is box has been changed to you know square now if you go and say hd tv the box has been rectangle you know the size is different so this is what basically uh, the safe uh, you can click on show safe framework the shortcut is shift f if you see there is a shortcut shift f and of course the second thing the what mode we want to see it i can keep it shaded or i can keep it realistic down on the the main part i can save this file save i'll say save to my uh, rendered render output directory and i can save it and of course you can change the render right now we are into default scanline render if you if you want to change the render go to assign renderer in the plus mark click on plus mark there is a production and production render is right now it's default scanline renderer if you want to change that you can click here over here and uh, we can say mental ray let's say okay by default it's a mental ray and if i'll right now i'll just render it so sorry and i don't want to save it so if you see that the type of render has been changed and of course the how it renders it also has been changed and the quality also has been changed when we work on uh, glass or something uh, like metal or something like that uh, always we work on mental ray or maybe i ray but right now i don't want to get into depth if you want to really get into depth about the mental ray we have a different course on mental ray so please do check that mental ray course so this is what still is going on and yes uh, by default we get mental ray with 3d max and we can get a use of that and if you want to really check more videos of 3d max we have very different kinds of training like how to make an interiors uh, how to make exteriors and also about different parts of 3d max do check all those videos if you want to get really get depth training of the 3d max so this is what we got and this is what the lecture was of the rendering and uh, thanks for watching my this tutorial